Good morning, Slime Pack Nation. Get ready to go get this shower. And start my day. It's currently like 2.33 in the morning. My time comes back in an hour. I'll be out the shower probably like 30 minutes. Get my pre-trip going and we're gonna take it from there. just beginning on that third day and so far the truck is still is running pretty good haven't been giving me any problems I haven't noticed any issues that I was experiencing before so I'm hoping and I'm praying that okay this is gonna be a successful you know trip out I'm already planning for my trip back home I know some people will stay out you know try to stay out as much as they can because I was down for a few weeks, but we ain't got time for that, y'all. The state fair for North Carolina is literally, I think, four weeks away, four or five weeks away. I'm gonna push myself to stay out four weeks. I usually stay out about three and a half. I'm gonna try to stay out about four and a half to that five week mark, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it that long. So that's my plans and that's my goal, y'all. I'm ready to go to the state fair. I'm ready to have some fun. And then this breakdown kind of messed up my plans that I had. My grandma's birthday is the end of this month, September the 30th. And I ain't even gonna be there to make my plans happen, but of course she's still gonna have a good birthday. I think she's gonna be turning 71, I think so. So yeah, but anyway, back to the trucking topic. Um, we finally getting ready to go deliver this load that we picked up on Sunday afternoon. And at the Mountaineer, we're currently in Kentucky. Something happened with the driver. The load was supposed to have been picked up over 12 hours before I got it. So that kind of threw off the drop off time. Uh, the receiver they was closing by the time I was gonna be able to get there yesterday So I just parked up at a truck stop and now we get ready to go over there and deliver this load And I do have a pre-plan. I'm not gonna talk about this pre-plan until we get done delivering this load So y'all don't get confused. So yeah, like this video leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna put my bag in the truck and then I'm gonna have to walk back to get my ice and coffee then we gotta put fuel in the trailer. You too. The setup for this truck stop is a little backwards. You would think the fuel would be facing this way, but those are parking spots. And then the fuel is way back there with the truck facing that way towards the woods so you're gonna have to walk all the way back just to get a receipt or do whatever you got to do like the way that truck right there is coming out that's how i feel like the pump should be that way getting ready to get in here and do this pre-trip and get this day started. All right, so now I'm walking back. Free trip is done. About to grab stuff I need. I'm gonna get some more of that fruit. This never gets old.
show. This is day three of eating free from the little truck spot. Got a salad, fruit, coffee, ice, and I think I might grab. <sighs> mm, I think I want one of these right now. These look better. Yeah. Why these ain't two for six here? Going. Hey, it's going too good for here. Tuesday morning, can't get no better. That's good. And also, I got a, a cup of ice. Okay. It's on the house. I just hate charging for ice. Because you're already paying like three bucks for a medium coffee. Right. Well, let's see if we can get it for free today. Right, we'll find out because I didn't give you a refill. <laughs> <laughs> that would be 1140. You want to use the points on the rest? Yes, sir. Right on. Got it for and free. Receipt. No receipt. It's mountain. She said it gotta be free. <laughs> <laughs> Eat for free at the Love's Truck Stop. Yes, ma'am. Hey, stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you, you too. Yes, hey, good morning, Steph. Good customer service. Now, like at the end of the week, I'm gonna try to do a total of how much I would have spent had I not used my Love's Points. That right there was an easy, what was it, 11? ten dollars and this is just for ice water coffee salad and fruit not too bad but it adds up i wonder do they need a spot let me do i got you this is a spot right there That blue looking good on that truck right there.
but we don't move from one pump to another. Now this trailer is running. Now we pumping. I'm gonna get just a few gallons and that's gonna be it. Because this other load is the last for this week. I'm thinking maybe I can try to drop this load off early because in the notes it say can drop 12 hours early. And this other place where I'm going to pick up at, we can pick up early, just not 24 hours early. My appointment is at like 3 p.m. today, but I can get over there this morning. All right, y'all. I will see y'all at this receiver location. Probably in about an hour. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, uh, you got Mount Air chicken breast? Yes. Okay, you'll be going to the back of this building here. There's only one dock back there. Just keep, you go between these two buildings over here. Uh huh. And there's only one dock back there. All right, open the doors. Yeah, the brakes still open up the doors, and I'll take the paperwork right now. Okay, then. How's it going this morning? Pretty good. Waiting on you. <laughs> hey, because they had a driver before, but I don't know what happened with the driver, so I got the load probably 15 hours after the pickup time. All right, so y'all not going to be able to see nothing. There's no point in me setting up no camera. All right, so he said to go around in between these two buildings. I couldn't really see okay cool we got this so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around this to where my trailer can be pointing that way make sure ain't nothing in my way over here oh yeah we good I'm gonna just keep coming around Lined up first, and then I'm gonna open. 
open my doors. I just gotta be mindful of this little thing over here to the right. I did read that in the reviews. They only had one review from a trucker. right here load is still intact we get that seal just in case you need to see it and my scissors look like I'm gonna have to just wiggle it over to the right just a little bit I need to go see it I think I may need to move it over to the right a little bit I mean, to my left a little bit, but I don't know. Sound like they already in there. So I told you I was gonna talk about that next load once we got here. But this next pre-plan is picking up in Owensboro, Kentucky. Then we're gonna drop it off all the way in Indianapolis. In my notes, it says that I can drop it 12 hours early. And for the pickup, it says they will load early, but not 24 hours early. My appointment time is today for the pickup at 1500, which is 3 p.m. Uh, more than likely, as soon as they get unloaded, I'm gonna head over there to the pickup because it said they do have overnight parking. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get loaded early because today is my pickup day so why wouldn't they load me early but uh, I already see on the map I ain't gonna say it's tight but I'm gonna have to go and back in off the street and also they have an active railroad track so I gotta be mindful of that but the way I see the docks is I'm gonna put it up there on the screen for y'all uh, I'm gonna come in go up the road and then just back straight into the docks Sounds easy and simple right now, but who knows what obstacles is in the way because you got pedestrians you got traffic and We got a railroad. So I'm still going in with a positive mindset 
But yeah, like I said, once we get done with this, I'm gonna head over there. I see a trailer washout is a few miles off my route. We're gonna go over there, get the trailer washed out, and then go post up at the pickup location. So they done unloading me. It took about a good, maybe hour, hour and 10, 15 minutes. No, I say just an hour. Go ahead and cut this off. Let's see how dirty our trailer is. that frozen blood I need a good washout y'all see that I know y'all don't want to see that but I gotta see it no am I closing the right one hey which door do I close first? I think it's this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, get it together, get it together. to go a couple miles off a route just to get this trailer washed out now I can see everything that I'm working with I could have came in like that but Whenever I first came in, I was real close to here. And then it's a big like dip dip there. So the way I did it, it worked for me. He came in this way and went up that way. Either way it go, long as it get in there. Get ready to scan in these documents so I can get paid. Even though I already didn't scan all this in, right when I picked up the load, now I got to scan it back in. like. That's crazy. Like, why y'all just can't use the stuff that we just scanned? Luckily, this wasn't a lot of pages. While I'm sitting here waiting for that split to complete, probably go ahead and eat these pineapples. Hopefully, they as good as yesterday because them pineapples yesterday went crazy. And I got this for me to eat later on. And that's it. I'm out here struggling, y'all. Right now, I'm uploading this short video that y'all probably, more than likely, y'all already seen. Today is September the 17th that I'm recording. I don't know when y'all gonna get this vlog right here. All right, so I just started my sp split. I was off duty for two hours, so that means I only have to do sleeper birth for eight hours. For those of you that don't know, um, I seen on the map that there is a trailer washout like a few miles past my pickup location. 
I'd rather do that than go 30 miles off route to get to this next washout. So y'all should be seeing my map up there on the screen. As y'all can see, where y'all see that number one at, that right there is a trailer washout. That's in the Prime Network. And uh, that is off route. I think it added like 30 more miles to my route. But then I got this one right here that's literally just a few miles past the uh, pickup location. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call them and see if they do trailer washouts. I see some trucks and trailers in there. And I read a review. It said that they do. It costs $50. So we're going to call them just to make sure. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, um, I was just calling to see, do you guys do trailer washout? Like a reefer trailer? Yes. Yeah, we wash out the insides of them. It's fifty dollars. Okay, cool. I'm probably like an hour away. I'll be there to get a, a trailer washout. Okay, we take EFS check or two check or cash. Cash. Yeah, okay. um, most people, you know, they try to pay with the card, but there's a gas station right across the street that everybody goes and gets it off a card. Okay, and I can get in and out easily with a truck? Yeah, to our lot. Yeah, to the uh, gas station yeah. you mentioned. Oh, yeah, they, people just walk right across. There's a gas station or a dollar store. Okay, then, perfect. Thank you. All right, bye. Okay, so that's the route we're going to take. So I gotta get some cash. He said it. He said that he said it was fifty dollars. I think so. Don't worry, people. Prime is going to reimburse me. Start navigation. You are heading to Echo Lake Foods, Owensboro, Kentucky. I was trying to wait until that truck got out of the way, but we got to go. Oh, whoo! Got to get that fly out of here. We got to get up out of here. Definitely gonna have to move. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to make that turn with him there. Is he coming through here with the trailer? just like one-way traffic on the road that's leading up to this place. Hopefully it ain't no more cars coming.
kind of tricky getting here earlier because it was so dark. Ooh. Like, I could barely see the road to turn on, but we got here. Getting ready to play some music for y'all to hear as we take this little drive. Now turn left. Nice people. I like when people wave and speak. 